What's up guys, it's your boy Grants back with another video. This is Warpath. Stay tuned guys, hit that subscribe button. Welcome back everybody to another Warpath video. In today's video we're going to go over a little bit of footage that I recorded um, in some of the battles. Some of the action is finally starting um, and we are going to go over some different tips and tricks that might help you um, in battle and also knowing some of the different gameplay that's going on. So anyway guys without further ado let's get into some of the footage here. Um, had this recorded for you guys. So in this one as you can see in the background right here we had uh, built our command center and turrets and we were taking over the rebel base but there was a an alliance to the side they were not willing to cooperate or they didn't want to uh, become allies uh, from what I understand and so we began attacking them and what you see here is just some raw footage of everybody that was on the map and about how many it takes to do a city because you definitely can't quite do it by yourself when you're this young but most of these cities were not exactly small either they were not just uh, you know level two three um, cities or, or barracks or whatever you want to call them command centers um, most of these guys were level 13 14 and 15 uh, and so it took quite a bit um, I actually had to go back and replenish my troops a couple different times but as you guys can see I am speeding up the video so that it doesn't take very long um, and so after you get done attacking a base it does teleport out so that is one good thing if you're trying to take over a territory you can't have any other bases that are from your enemy or the other alliance in it so th otherwise you can't build your turrets or your territory so we had to get rid of them and so we have to attack them um, and take those uh, losses or whatever and once we get done attacking them you know if they have any troops that were within their um, barracks or whatever they're gonna, gonna go onto the map and then you attack those afterwards so as you can see here some guys have tankers in the corner you can see me in the green I have an infantry unit and I popped up uh, camped them to the bunker um, and then I have my missiles and my tanks and then afterwards the troops they uh, they fell out of the the castle and so we uh, killed those um, but yeah, we did this for quite a while, probably an hour or two, um, back and forth, back and forth. And um, we finally were able to do some of the territory. So let's get into this right here. I'll show you kind of where we are right now. Um, so we were able to take over uh, most of the territory, um, still building. They still have some here. Um, one of the things about the turrets is is you have to have them onto a road so you know as you can see there's this little road here so if your al your alliance territory is right here when you go down on this road right here to the village that village can be captured if it's intersecting to your territory plus it has to have that road um, yeah th that's one of the main things and so like right here if we want to build this you actually need to camp in it so um, I'll just show you exactly what I'm talking about that way we can do it kind of for a tutorial um, right here you want to click relocate now there's two different ways you can do an airdrop which I have three of three um, you can do an airdrop or if you're out of those you can actually click on your command center and click relocate and I'm gonna click relocate right here just to show you guys and so it's gonna say build the base and you see this truck now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to this area and when I get into it I'm gonna click the build a base symbol and as you can see I'm able to do it so you click this plus symbol and now that truck is gonna come over here um, once that truck gets over here it's gonna immediately build your base it's not gonna take that long but the more people that are here and the higher the level they are the faster that this will be built so you know this village right here which is a turret inside of here so just so you can see alliance territory an alliance turret that's the village and this thing right here is going to be able to be built in a certain amount of time 
I'm not going to get much build time on this because it's almost done. But if you don't have anybody to put your city inside of here or your base inside of here, it's not going to build very fast. So you guys, if you're building, that's how you build. You have to move inside of here. Now, to lay the turret, it takes uh, an R4 or an R5. Um, and by that, I mean like an officer. So let me see if I can zoom in here to show you what I'm talking about. So when you go to members, the officer or the, the, the main leader um, and their cities also have to be in the area. So that is one thing um, that I did notice. And so once we get this built, then we would be able to technically along the road um, be able to and see there's no really road connecting right there. So that's going to be a bummer to get into the next village or whatever so we might have to go down to here so the road connects through here build here and then we would be able to connect to this territory technically and be on the road um to do it i could be wrong maybe we can just go ahead and attack that but that's kind of been how it's been is you have to kind of follow the road that does it so it's not just about the territory touching it also has a lot to deal um, with the roads as well just so you guys know but anyway let's go back here watch my guy big old truck the graphics on here is nice look at that graphics Woohoo! anyway um and so i'm gonna go over here and build when you build you do get points which is nice i'll show you guys so you get these right here, the building points, um, and you also get these right here. Um, you get commander credits, and your limit is 20,000 a day. Um, that's your limit for being in the territory and getting it. Uh, another benefit so that you can go to the Alliance and then go to the store down here and, you know, have your purchases and stuff like that that you're able to do. Um, and it gets stocked better, you know, the more the alliance builds and stuff like that right now we're kind of a little bit low because of it always don't forget to research let's go here do our research get those contribution points research is very very key man it is very key anyway also another thing um i'm sure some of you guys had seen one of the good ways of getting a lot of goodies um, is to go and to scout um, making this map kind of here. Let me see. So go to an area like this. Oh, my base. Hold on. It's got to be built. Let's watch it be built. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about because um, it's always really good uh, to be able to get a mass amount of resources and stuff like that. Well, I guess it got stuck. What the heck? Here. Let's try this. I think it had a brain fart. <laughs> okay. So, right here. Whenever you're upgrading, you'll notice that you need these building substances or whatever. And most of you guys know, you have to get them and produce them. So, you go right here and you start producing a lot of them. It takes a real long time. However, what was really cool... Is that whenever you're clearing a mass amount of fog, so let's say that I'm going, you know, way over here. That way the plane, while it's riding all the way here, is finding those. It'll find quite a bit of um, these little, let me see if I can show you. I'm trying to f remember what the exact name of them is. So right here, these little scout reports. Now, I had just sent some out. I don't know. I used up like over 150 of them. But, you know, as you can see right here, I mean, quite a few of them just by doing it. But my point is, is that watch this. So I have the gift. I click the scout, and it's right here. Now, it gave me eight bricks. Now, first off, those bricks, those eight, that's a good 10, 15 minutes right there. Then, you know, you get steel. Then you get a military map that will uncover a big grid um, on top of that or whatever. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, And when, when it does uncover, it's really neat because it will actually you know, give you more of those. Uh, 
let me see. Sorry, got distracted. Here it is. Uh, it'll give you more of those scouting reports um, because you do a big grid. So here, we're going to use it. It's just going to uncover a region. And everything in that that had these little scouts to be able to get now will show up on my report as if like the plane had, had found them or whatever. And we're just going to go through. So 44 of those. I mean, this is going to uncover a lot, right? So you just keep on going and going and going. And you don't have to worry about using the plane on those. Now, I'm going to go back here for a sec so I can show you. So you see how it says one minute ago? Like it uncovered and there was one there. So now I go here. And click it. Look at that. Four more. Cash for troops. And another map that's going to give me even more. So, I mean, those bricks. Sometimes there's other stuff as well. Like, I'll show you. I mean, in any of those building materials. That one was wood. Let's do this one. Eight wood. Anyway, my point is, is that after like a hundred of those, opening them up and keep on doing that, I was able to build buildings a lot faster. So instead of me having to come over here and be like, oh, I need to produce, you know, concrete. I hate concrete or whatever. And as you can see, going to cost a bunch of gold or I got to use my speed ups to get them. You could literally be scouting at the same time you're building and you can upgrade twice as fast. So I just noticed some of those things today. Those things uh, helped me quite immensely. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. And I appreciate you guys. Um, hope you guys like them. Please leave a comment down below. Also, please subscribe to my channel uh, for more content. And hit that notification bell. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.